Baby head. Oh, she got coffee face. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another 1 6 scale collectible action figure review on the TB League Feist and Beyond Comics 1 6 scale Tricity action figure from the Gekito Comics. This is the Blood Edition BBTS exclusive, so if you're trying to pick this up, you can get it. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Greg White and Big Bad Toy Store for making this review possible. Check the link in the description below to Beyond Comics right over there. Great looking artwork over there and you can see that America's Next Top Model winner Adrian Curry played this character. So he uses actual human references for the characters in the comic which you can see right over here. It looks pretty good. Greg signed it for me so yeah it was great meeting him over in New York City but yeah just take a look at the artwork right over there. Very awesome stuff. Very enjoyable. I highly recommend it. I mean look at that artwork man. It is spectacular. So, anyway, looking at the packaging right over here, I really do like it. You can see the Blood Edition exclusive. This is number 23 out of 66 copies. On the side, you can see Tricity right over there. Uh, this does not have light-up features, but man, the imagery does look really cool. There's artwork. There's Adrian Curry next to Greg right there. Then there's a Greg action figure, and you can see some of the other action figures right here, which look pretty stunning. Then there's a lengthy read-up over here. If you want to take the time to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Nothing at the top and nothing at the bottom. Then we have magnets holding this on the sides right here so you could lift that up. And by the way, there is a certain kind of smell. This is a beautiful looking figure and it has a beautiful smell. But yeah, you can see the figure right inside right over there. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Tricity figure out of the packaging and this thing is beautiful. Wow, what a stunning piece. It just doesn't look gorgeous. It actually has some really good balance over here. It is not being supported by anything and it's standing on high heels and on this rotating base not falling over. Well, it was tricky to set up, but hey, she is standing on her own and the material used for this piece is very durable too. So let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Tricity. So the figure comes with a display stand with the adjustable cradle right over here and you can see at the ends of the cradle, you know, we have these little plastic pieces so that you don't damage the figure. You can move this up and down and I love that we have this metallic blue paint right over here. It really works well with the scheme of the character and everything. I would be careful with this though. I feel like there's just times where it gets caught on some of the tubes and everything. You do want to be careful about that but so far no damage damages or anything. And then we get the rest of the accessories with this figure. We get three pairs of interchangeable hands, fisted hands, grabbing hands, and wide open hands. And then you can see the electric effects right over here. And then she has her high heels, which do come onto the figure. But you know, I just wanted to demonstrate that you can put those on there. And we do have Tricity toes right here that don't look too bad. So you know, I thought it was worth showing those off. And they just go on right over here, you know, very easy to do. So not hard. Uh, but what is tricky is getting the hands on here. That's my biggest complaint with the figure is that we have these metal pins right here. And I don't know, it's just a lot of squishy material and porting these on is a bit tricky to do. Uh, just to demonstrate, you can see that, you know, that this piece kind of gets in the way some right over here. So it'll work. I was able to take all the pictures I wanted. And of course, while I'm on camera, it just pops in really easy. And you know, most of the time it's been tricky for me. And then you can just port these and they go in right here. They don't light up or anything. And that's okay with me. It would have been kind of cool. But, but this translucent blue plastic looks really good. You know, it almost looks like it's lit up. So I think that's pretty awesome. I really like these quite a bit. That's very cool. And then, of course, we get her mask right here, which I really like a lot. Love that gunmetal silver color right there so that's very cool I do wish that they had a little bit more black around the eyes the artwork looks like there's a little bit more black around the eye portion right over here but you can see that there is black around the blue but I don't know I think a little bit more black would have made it look a little bit better and just compared to the artwork right over here you know they look like more like normal shaped eyes right over here where these kind of have this I don't know very slanted look so looking at the head sculpt over here and comparing it to some images of Adrian Curry who is on America's Next Top Model I don't think they nailed the head sculpt right over here it doesn't look just like her but I could see the resemblance for sure uh, the you know the figures kind of making a dull face so there's a little bit of lack of expression so it's a little tricky to tell but I do think the eyes came out really Really good. I really like those green eyes quite a bit and the lips look very realistic and I like the lipstick that they gave her and the blood. Oh man, I love the blood. That is sick. I don't know why, but I just really love the blood variants. So that looks great. You can see that they have some paint right there for the hairline to give it a smooth transition into the actual doll hair. It has a clip for the ponytail up top. So that's pretty good. 
you can see we get the hair all flowing. I didn't have to add any product or do anything to it. It just came out fine out of the packaging like that. And I love that beautiful red hair. Man, I love redheads. Yeah, beautiful. And then you can take the mask and plop it right on. It stays pretty well. Just want to pinch and it'll just stay on with the force of the hair or the, you know, the spikes of it, you know, kind of weaving into the hair a little bit. So there that goes and that looks pretty cool. So yeah, I like that. We've got the goddess of lightning. And then looking at the rest of the figure and, you know, this may not be for all ages right over here, but I'm not going to take off any of the clothes or anything like that. You know, if you want to see a naked Fison body, you can check out Talk arts videos you know or he did at least one video you know going over through everything and I mean everything but yeah you can see some nice blood right over here above the breasts and they are quite large and we have this nice material right over here uh, you know for her suit that goes from a dark blue to a lighter blue I really dig that have the nice little silver right over here we have this real metal piece holding this together I really like the blood that they added to it I do think that the design of this figure is a little top heavy I mean I'm not just talking about the breasts but like the shoulders are a bit wider than her hips and usually I don't know I like to see like the hips and the shoulders be about the same width but looking at the gauntlets over here those look awesome and again more blood and everything going throughout the figure and it's a very squishy figure uh, you can see the material is very soft and it's very durable which really makes me hate Hot Toys right now because Hot Toys has not been able to pull this kind of thing off they just need to take this exact material and use it on their figures so that's frustrating uh, but yeah looking on the side right here these gauntlets have this nice gunmetal color to them. I really like them a lot. Nice details. These tubes are very durable. I've posed this thing around like crazy and I've had nothing break on me, man. That's just kind of weird. I'm not used to being able to get a figure into so many dynamic poses and not have anything broken. There was a moment where I had this shoulder joint pinched in a little bit and then when I put it back, I thought it had creased, but there's no crease there. You know, even if I darken the settings, there's no crease over here. So very happy with that. But yeah, going back to these tubes, they work out really well, and I'm just like really impressed with the durability of the figure, man. This looks great. The hands look awesome right there. They even have the fingernails painted and stuff. We looked at those a little bit more. You can see the tubes. And then you can see the crotch piece and everything that covers her up. Then here's looking at the back, which I think could have been a little bit wider. You know, like her hips are very thin, so... Um, yeah, and these are supposed to be very sexy dolls basically and yeah, you know, you got to have the wide hips man or At least for me anyway, and then looking at the knees and the rest of this it looks really nice Dig it quite a bit tubes going all the way throughout and there is a little bit of gappage right here You know at the ankle, but man, I really like the ankle articulation overall So I don't know maybe just having this a little bit longer to cover that or something Then there's the feet again so you can get another look because I know you want to and then yeah these high heels man I was able to have this figure on a rotating base standing with heels see it's not just the chimbomba rasadas It's really the shoulders are a lot wider than the hips. So yeah, she should have wider hips I think but anyway the articulation on this figure is amazing we get great neck articulation right here. So the head is a little bit trickier to move around, but you can move the head or the neck anyway so that she's bent all the way back right there. That is, wow, okay, it goes even further. Jeez, oh, that is awesome. And then you can move the neck, uh, not as much forward, but with the head tilting downward right here. You can see that she'll look down that much. And then you get side to side motion, great amount of head pivoting. You could pivot like crazy over here. So really good neck joint in there. We get butterfly joints on the figure. So she does move forward and back right there at the shoulder and she does shift up and down some. You could also move the shoulders outward and down. You could rotate forward, you could rotate back. I mean, this is just uh, so incredibly durable that I'm just not used to it. I feel like it's gonna break on me. Uh, you can rotate at the bicep over there. Uh, you get a single jointed elbow that, well, this elbow goes in very far. I don't wanna break the tube, but God, and it's not breaking as I do that. So I'm gonna test it. I could bend it in that much forward, which is pretty good. And then you could rotate at the elbow as well. And then you get wrists that can move any direction that are on ball joints. And then we have a great diaphragm joint right over here that could turn side to side. Uh, you get diaphragm pivoting and she'll crunch forward that much. That's crazy and back that much. You also get a waist joint in there that turns side to side as well. It's kind of hard to get all that turning without, you know, grabbing the figure in a way that I know you guys want me to, but I'm not going to do it because I know there's kids watching, but I mean, with both the waist joint and that torso joint, she'll bend forward that much and she'll bend very far back. That is nuts, man. Jeez. Okay. The hips move outward very far. Ay, right, cochina. And then she can kick forward very far as well, which is awesome. And she'll move her leg back. Uh, you get an upper thigh cut, which is kind of hard to turn around, but I could feel that leg moving 
in there. A great knee joint right here. I mean, even with this tube and stuff, if I get that out of the way, she'll bend her knee all the way in, not quite heel to butt, but man, that's still impressive. And then the ankle's on a ball joint, so you get the side to side motion, it'll move down, move up, and it has beautiful ankle pivot. God, I'm just still impressed this figure stands so well on its own, especially with the high heels, man. But anyway, to measure out this Tricity figure, you could see that she's standing at about 13 inches tall. And then here's the Tricity figure next to a couple other 1-6 scale beauties. We have the Hot Toys Age of Ultron Black Widow and the Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch. And I don't think they really scale together, you know, just slightly off over here. She's so much taller than these other two right over here, but I've seen people mod their Hot Toys with Fison figures before, so you could try to mess around with that if you'd like. Okay, so I put a Black Widow head sculpt on this body and wow, that actually doesn't look too awful. I don't know. It's a little bit weird, though. And then here's Tricity next to the 1-6 scale Dave Wheeler Shardimus Prime Custom, and wow, that is a happy Shardimus right there. I guess she is just a really tall woman. I guess they scale together if she's going to be really tall. Makes sense. Goddess of Lightning. And then here's the TB League Tricity figure next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Classic Spider-Man. Whoa, that's a whole lot of women. Oh, looking pretty good, too. Uh, I sharded from the front again. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. So again, I really like this figure a lot. Very poseable, and it's awesome seeing it here on the dynamic posing stand from Hot Toys. Just works out really well. I love the posability. I think it looks great, and the durability just really impresses me. So man, I really like this piece a lot, and I'm curious to see what else is in store for the TB League figures from the Gekido comics. Very interested. I really like it a lot, and at the price point of about 165 bucks, man, man, that is very impressive. I'm giving this a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. And luckily, while I was at my New York City meet and greet at Forbidden Planet, it was really cool sharing people's thoughts with this and discovering the figure over there. Greg showed up with the figure and we all got to look at it and it was really cool. I was kind of like doing a review along with viewers at the same time. So that was a lot of fun. For those of you that showed up at the meet and greet in New York, thank you so much. It was a great pleasure to meet you guys. And for those of you that didn't make it, please hit that like button if you liked this video. Leave a comment down below once again and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And if you're interested in Patreon, I'm going to post up an exclusive video showing the anatomy off in more detail over there at the $5 tier. And if you want to follow me on the social media, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.